Hey everyone, welcome back to this new Vue tutorial. And today we are going to start our new journey to explore the STM32 tutorial from scratch. We are going to focus especially on the STM32 F4 because it's a really diverse and modern family from the STM32, but you will be gaining enough knowledge to expand on the other members without any problem. So this is video, this video should be short and focusing just to understand the, the expectation from this tutorial. First of all, we will see the tutorial philosophy, then the tutorial shape, and finally the hardware that we are going to use. So let's start and see about the tutorial philosophy. So first of all, everything will be from scratch. You'll not need any prerequisite to stand this tutorial. You will also um, program your microcontroller at the register level, which is really the lowest uh, memory part of the microcontroller. You'll be coding the microcontroller unit based on the data sheet and reference manual. This will not be copying any libraries or anything. You will be reading the manual. We will see together how to understand the manual from the microcontroller. And also we will be building our own libraries. So this will give you some knowledge and understanding, getting from really low level to make your own function. Then you will be understanding what's going on inside the MCU. That's not copying code on, or bringing any libraries. Second, we are going to use Kale. So we are going to focus on the STM32F4, but we are going to use Kale um, instead of using the STM uh, software. And this is because we are going to learn about microcontroller in general. And also, Kale is the standard programming software that is used for the ARM microprocessor software. So the, this is really giving you the opportunity to understand a very big software and open to so many other families of microcontroller. Finally, we will be using a little bit the STM32 CubeMX, and this is just to understand a little bit the structure or the architecture of the timers and also how the clock is working. But that will be quite for education purposes, but not and not for programming. Then this is microcontroller focused, which means we are focusing on how a microcontroller is working. So our approach is always, we do have this microcontroller and how can we build it? So this is not like STM, we are going to use the STM32, but that will be just an example of how we approach and program a microcontroller. Then we will be interfacing, of course, with other devices and sensors, and that's the purpose of microcontroller. We just we don't need a microcontroller to do internal computation only, so we are going to use all the peripherals. Finally, we will provide the time analysis as much as possible, which means it's good to, to make an LED blink, it's good to communicate with other devices, but it's very important to understand the time constraint that are happening between the microcontroller so we can really clock it very well. Okay, so we finish with the tutorial philosophy and let's jump on the next part, which is about the shape of our, um, our tutorial. So first of all, we will have the foundational part. So we will be focusing, not directly coding, that's, that's a little bit of a mistake. Um, usually we will be understanding what's going on in the background, going through a little bit of um, the binary communication, how to install Kale, how to have the correct thing working. So preparing the all the area or the field for our programming. Then comes the coding. So we will be really first focusing on building in a basic way or creating a proof of concept of the code to make the microcontroller working. Then we are going to build function that are modular and that will help us to, to be used like not only in one microcontroller but in the whole family of the STM32 F4. Of course, we are going to work on the GPIO, timers, ADC, SPI, UART, I2C, and DMA. That's a little bit advanced, but it's quite, we are going to have a look on almost every part of the microcontroller. Then finally, the fun part is the project area. So we are going to understand, so we are going to build a lot of functions in the code area and then see how to implement them in a very effective way within projects. Okay, so 
that's the whole thing about the tutorial shape. So now let's take a look on the hardware that we are going to use. And we are not going to use only one STM32F4, but we are going to use quite a lot. And within the STM32F4 families, there's a lot of boards that are in the market. There's what we call here the Nucleo board. This is our Nucleo board. And also we do have this kind of a discovery board. So they do have, each one of them are a different microcontroller within the same family. And after this one, even there is a, some Chinese made board, which are very interesting, uh, cheaper than the STM32 original board, but they still have a very good um, architecture or uh, PCBs. So I, I really enjoy working with them. And finally, so this is also a Chinese board. This is the, um, what we call the black pill. It's very powerful um, uh, microcontroller board or microcontroller unit. The frequency, the clock frequency that are, those microcontroller are used is 16 megahertz, but also we will see um, how to take all the power or unleash all the power of those microcontroller. We will understand how to use them carefully. So we keep um, all our system consistent. So that was the whole tutorial um, structure. I hope you will enjoy, you will learn, and see you within the next episode. Bye-bye, and have a good, good day.